welcome back. Um, I'll get right to it. I was following someone else's tutorial and they happened to use a um, curve to mesh uh, with UVs, which is cool. It's exactly what I was after. But the issue was that um, when they unwrapped it, it actually had this artifact on it, which uh, wasn't too noticeable, um, but it is an issue, especially when you have a bunch of, uh, well, a lot of geo that is unwrapped. And this is the artifact here. I found a solution. Someone helped me on Bradley's Discord channel. So I wanted to make a video about it and uh, yeah, just pass, pass on the knowledge. Here is my geometry node setup right here. And you can see it's doing the classic things here where, you know, we've got a, a curved circle, goes to curve to mesh. Um, and we do things here where we um, unwrap it, you know, using its length. You could use its factor, whatever. Um, but then we store the UVs here as a named attribute and uh, just put it into a material that then uses that, uh, you know, attribute right here. Uh, but the issue is actually this guy, um, the curved circle. And it's because uh, it merges right round. So, yeah, that manifests in this artifact right here. And the solution is to get a spiral. <laughs> As you can see, it already, it automatically dropped in and um, has resolved that issue. The other thing, other thing that you want to consider is that um, the normals are actually busted. So I wonder why that's, it looks inverted. Um, I just turned off back face culling, but um, you could easily flip it. And so what you now have is some geometry, but now you also have this seam where the, um, the zero to one don't align. And the very simple solution here is uh, get a merge by distance and sort that out that way. And so this is a quick solution to fixing your um, unwrapped curves um, in geometry nodes. And yes, yeah, stay tuned for other videos. See ya.